helikopter, helikopter. Para koper, para koper. Helicopter. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's the only reason I wanted to do a helicopter stream is because of that. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Flight Deck Sim live stream today, it's the 15th of May 2023, 34 minutes past 9 in the evening here in the United Kingdom, we're back in Microsoft Flight Simulator and for the first ever time on any live stream, the channel is 6 years old, we are flying a helicopter. Now I have flown helicopters in the sim in the past but it's the no first ever time no I've got no it all no set up properly. I've got no the, the throttle set up, I've got my cyclic set up, the, the stick, um, all those anti-torque pedals I should say. The, 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 it should be set up working. I had a quick play of it about an hour ago, seemed to be able to get it up and down, left, right, back and forwards and a, a dignified takeoff and landing, let's say. But what a better way to check out the Orbex uh, landmarks for Dubai? I've uh, have all access to their scenery, and I thought, well, that'll be a great first place to fly it uh, here. So we're at the, the uh, capital uh, of uh, the United Arab Emirates, Dubai, and it's Dubai International Airport. We'll be flying towards the city, looking at all the great landmarks. You guys will be able to point them out. We're going to go over to the is it Burj Arab, the seven-star hotel. There's a helipad there in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We'll try and land on that, and then just a short hop uh, up the coastline to finish off at the skydive Dubai airport it comes with the Orbex scenery as well so yes we're in the default uh, what is it called a Cabri G2 a Gwimble Cabri G2 some Sobo French thing I'm not so sure but uh, yeah it looks really nice inside and uh, I've been following the checklist to get it started up and that's as far as I've got I'll be asking lots of questions in chat here so you can answer all my questions here a uh, couple of uh, members comments there firstly Flying Walnut uh, thank you very much madam for your membership I uh, I'm coming into the channel as well, and apologies for my slip up last stream. Uh, two months of the member, she, she said, uh, This is going to be fun. I've flown in a helicopter as a paramedic, definitely prefer fixed wing. They glide so much better if things go south. That is very true, Whirly Birds. Believe it or not, I've actually had two helicopter lessons many years ago in a Robinson R22. I still didn't have much clue what was going on, but there were some skills I could take from f uh, fixed wing flying put into an aircraft. I managed to sort of get a hover done there. Um, Still a lot I don't know sort of about the governor throttle and how that works and mixes with the engine, but I'm sure some of you will be pointing it out. Thank you, Fly Walnut, for your two months as a member. Uh, thank you very much, Henry Yaddle, 15 months as a member. Helicopter, helicopter, yes, brilliant. Thank you very much indeed for your continued support as a member. I threw a lot of you off there with that, didn't I? Brilliant. Uh, L Clams is here, thanks to you. I'll have that sound in my head for a few weeks. Sorry about that. Greg Scott, it needs some hellfires and a chain cut. I don't think I'd be able to lift it, this little, uh, this tiny little chopper here. Um, who else we got here? Moen, loves helicopters I understand flight dispatch 320 can't wait to see the helicopter brilliant Yaroslav is here says greetings hello uh, Josh Webster Racing says hey mate big thanks for all your videos content over the years you've inspired me to start my uh, HPL CPT CPL journey and I've done ground school and uh, and Spain doing my foundation flying cheers that's amazing Josh Webster Racing so so cool uh, you're not the only one that's done that I actually had a really nice email last year from someone who watched one of my videos when he was in uh, um, completing his A levels he's now a colleague of mine at my airline amazing I've never had the chance of meeting him but he sent me a really long email saying how I inspired him to go all the way it's great to hear uh, stories like that makes me feel very proud of uh, the little channel we've uh, created over here uh, massive nerds at Capri uh, well, yes what's it called I don't know it's Capri Capri I, I really don't know hello curse spinny boys <laughs> Edward hope you're doing well buddy no no it's not going to work out well said James Hudson a little bit more confidence in my abilities well I doubt it flying this thing Wooks down six months to remember I'm new to helicopter but not new to spinning <laughs> I'll be doing plenty of that today. Uh, Astrid, you had some terrible news today, so this is exactly the side of content I need to cheer you up. So sorry to hear that, Astrid. I hope uh, you're feeling a little bit buddy, and uh, we'll have a bit of a laugh tonight. Don't you worry about that. Robert S, 14 months as a member. Cheers and enjoy flying around Dubai, he said. Thank you very much. Right, uh, let's uh, zoom on in. This is just the default Dubai scenery. You might not even be able to see the tiny helicopter. It's dwarfed by the hangars. We're on gate one here. I am offline for our inaugural stream today, um, but we are live weather in Dubai here. Clear skies, winds from the south at about 7 knots, 28 degrees Celsius. We are 12 hours behind live time, of course, in the middle of the night in Dubai, but uh, in the sim, we want to enjoy the beautiful scenery uh, to be offered by the Orbex Landmark Scenery Pack. Here it is then, uh, the Whirly Bird. There's someone here amazed to see a helicopter here in Dubai, waiting for you to take off. It's absolutely tiny. There's one of two default aircraft or helicopters available. And you can see I'm there with my baseball cap on, ready to go, completely cold and dark. I've not done 
anything to set it up. As I said, I'll be using the default checklist to get this uh, thing up and running. Uh, and I've been reading some very positive comments in the community about some of the helicopter uh, physics in the sim. Uh, I know x has it as well, but um, I think they're forever improving, which is good to see. And I know some very popular payware helicopters, so you never know. We might uh, have a look at one of those one day, but uh, we'll have to see uh, how we get on from there. Uh, and here's bye for now. We'll watch tomorrow. Well, thank you very much for popping in. I hope you enjoy watching the stream tomorrow. Uh, were you flying in Greece earlier today? No, I'm on my days off, Mr. Maestro 1. Uh, Where's Wheel? Really annoying that the scenery and helicopter are both default. I can't ask whether to buy it. Uh, uh, Brandon laugh at my ass off his head to the RC heli. It's tiny, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a Robinson R22. Look, it's a two-seater utilitarian helicopter. I think it's got 200, 300,000 euros or something, but yeah. I think it's a good starter helicopter, let's say. Uh, right, anyway, I'm going to jump on uh, jump on in now, so let me just uh, press this button here. Oh, why is that not working? There we are, and we're in the helicopter, and this is going to be the perfect stream. Let me just look at this for Toby Eye Tracker. So we'll, we'll leave it off for now, but when I get airborne, look at this. I can use my Toby Eye Tracker to have a great look outside the uh, helicopter whilst we're flying along here. But I'll just turn it off now whilst we uh, configure the aircraft. Oh, I keep saying aircraft, the helicopter. I'm going to be making lots of uh, fixed-wing aircraft remarks when I know, for example, rudder pedals are not called rudder pedals. They're anti-torque pedals, which changes the speed of the the rear rotor thingy. <laughs> I don't know anything about helicopters. Um, yeah, why not Airbus Copter, you Airbus fanboy? What's, well, we don't have any Airbus Copters available, I don't think, on the default ones. Hello, MGS1, I hope you're doing well. Uh, yes, a good start to helicopter for my long and prosperous life of owning helicopters. It's <laughs> brilliant. Right, uh, let's have a look at the checklist, which we need to uh, definitely look at here. Let me crank up the sounds in Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. So you can hear all the uh, noises that have to uh, going on. Here's a cockpit checklist. Uh, flight controls for incorrect. So I don't have yoke cam on today, but I do have yoke cam on. Someone's out very, very special. Look. <laughs> he, look he looks like a seal, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, I put it a little bit too close to him. Oh, hello, buddy. So you can have occasionally... Uh, 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 seal cam on so you can see the seal down here oh sorry am i putting you off buddy there you are so you can have a few little references to uh, jack my baby boy uh, who's uh, been uh, very sports today very long walks i've got my uh, girlfriend's mum's dog with me at the moment so um Dylan, Jack and I have been on long walks today, which has been great good fun, but uh, he'll be, um, uh, he's like, oh, 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 he's like, shut up, <laughs> I'm going over here now. Anyway, uh, let's go through the cockpit checklist, flight controls free and correct, so I've got my Airbus side stick all connected here, so I've got uh, the stick, forward, back, left, right, the torque pedals with my rudder pedals left and right, the side click here, up and down, and the throttle of a side to two buttons look. You can see that the throttle rotates here, that's assigned to two buttons on the joystick. In fact, by... Oh god, I hope I don't have any of the... Oh, I've got a bit of noise there, haven't I? Uh, to be fair to Microsoft Flight Simulator, I just typed Airbus, changed the profile to Helicopter, and it seemed to change a lot of the buttons automatically, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, with regards to the throttle, I've been learning there's something called a governor, and the governor controls the throttle for you once you've got the engine started. So I'll just use the throttle to get the thing going, and then we'll turn on the governor and see what happens there. Uh, collective full and free, then down, there we are. So before starting engine, fuel shut off valve open, that's behind my head uh, down here, so it's uh, on. Uh, all switches off, so looking down here, they're all in the off position. This is the Tesla of helicopters in here. Uh, carburetor heat auto, so it's got like a, a piston engine in the back here, as opposed to a turbine. Um, where is the carburetor heat? There it is. More than the auto position. Let's get some power then. Oh, I've turned it on. Gwimbal. It's a version 14.1. 196. It makes some really good sounds, this this uh, helicopter there. Uh, Aaron Griffith says, good evening, have fun and Godspeed with the flight. Thank you very much. Uh, Will Edwards here, I've said hello to you already. Uh, Alright, Governor, excellent, absolutely. Uh, I've just had to see the first Whirly Bird flight on this channel. Uh, you are about to see it, 0321 short, absolutely. Um, Romeo, just letting you know I received a notification that you were live, but you didn't show in my list of live subs. Oh, I don't know how any of that stuff's controlled, uh, Romeo, but uh, as long as the live was notified, that's all that matters. You're here now. Thank you very much for popping in. Uh, right, where did I get to? Battery on. We're doing a cold engine start, so temperatures cross-checked. Well, look, the carb heat's the same as the outside air temperature. That's a good sign, and everything is 
where it should be. As I said, we are 12 hours behind live time, 0844 Zulu. Um, OAT 28 degrees. Perfect. Looks pretty cool. Fuel on board, check. So we've got half a tank here. Uh, 86 is that litres. Yes, 86 litres. Um, governor is off. So the governor switch is this little switch in here, which I said it automatically controls the, the throttle, which you, you control by rotating. So I think it's... I don't know if it's off or on. We'll, we'll leave it down for now. Um, off. Check off lights. Ah. Okay, so if the light's on, I guess the governor's off. So the governor off light's on. There we go. We want it off. Mixture to full rich. That's up here over my head. So fully rich. There we are. Fully rich. Uh, altimeter set to the local pressure setting. So I'll just press B in Microsoft Flight Simulator. There we are. It's pretty much sea level here in Dubai. Uh, altimeter is checked. Ready to start the engine then. Uh, Adrian Harvey says hello from Miami. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for popping in. Uh, Postkill says unfortunately flight dy dynamics of helicopters in Microsoft Flight Simulator are pretty bad. We'll be interested to see how this goes. Ah, okay. I've heard mixed reports. But just to show you, I'm not cheating today. Assistance options, piloting, look, helicopter assistant the assisted settings, everything's off, everything's on hard, I'm not cheating, I'm doing everything as realistic as Microsoft Flight Simulator can be. Um, so, uh, we've got to start the engines now, so strobes now come on apparently, so uh, let's pop on the strobe lights, get some flashing lights on, fuel pump on, so we'll check the fuel pressure here, pump on, here we go, we've got fuel pressure, injectors, injections as needed. Uh, oh, do you have to rotate the throttle a few times? Injections complete. Uh, throttle 0 to 15%. Gosh, how do I... I don't even know what's up and down throttle. Oh, there we are. Throttle... What was it? 0 to 15. Let's put it... 12. There we are. Rotor brake. Apply. Check. Then lock forward. Well, let's just see if the... Oh, bloody views. Uh, see if the rotor brake works first. So, this is the rotor brake. There you go, you can see it stops the rotor, let go. I think it's just them windmilling in the wind. He says, well it was windmilling, but it's off now. Uh, rotor brakes check then, mixture fully rich, magnetos on. That's up here. Uh, is that on now? Oh, I don't know if it's off or on, which is up or down. Oh, I presume up. Magnetos, and there's something called plasma. Isn't that something off the surface of the sun? There we are. Plasma on, and I think we need that beeping tone. And now we can start the engines. It's just like a, a piston engine. Uh, or, or a, I don't know if it's rotary piston or whatever, but it's a, a combustion engine in the back there. So, starter. What's all these eyes pointing at here? Oh, yeah, throttles. How do I turn that stuff off? Let me just turn all that off there. How do I start the engine? Where's the starter? <clears throat> I know it's around here somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna have to press the button to find it. Starter. Oh, it's the it's on the on the collective. Where's the? How do I deselect that clutch? Oh my goodness me! Right, let's press the starter. Ooh, I think we're on. I've started it. There we are. The helicopter is on. Plasma. <laughs> I know. I don't know what it is. Furious punch. Don't know. I have no idea. Fun fact: you can also make plasma in your microwave oven with a grape cut in half. <laughs> Yeah, it's only every day, Brandon. Right, I've started the Whirly Bird. Helicopter's on. Uh, on, starter light on, then some other text I can't read. Then then back off. Okay, I think that's been done. Uh, it's a cold engine start. We're having one of those. Throttle adjust to 1000 RPM, so let's increase the power slightly. Oh! Okay, it's all or nothing. But I don't think the, cl the clutch is not engaged yet, so you can see the... I'm trying to set a thousand, but it's very sensitive. Oh, it's either... Alright, we've got either 2,000 or 1,000. I'm literally pressing the button. Right, we'll go with 1,700. Uh, that's as close as I can get it. Uh, so the throttle's set. Collective is down. Alternator on, so the battery doesn't go flat. There we are. Alternator lights extinguished. Oil pressure. So all temperatures increasing, cylinder head temperatures increasing, all pressures in the green. Yeah, it's all working. Clutch engage and lock. Okay, so this will get the uh, propeller spinning, I think. So we'll, let's put that up. Ooh. Oh! That sounds like a train stopping at a station. <laughs> I, just, I think it's working though. <laughs> 
There you go. So the main rotor RPM is this one. Wait for off on the clutch. I did a thing! <laughs> Cheers, Mystery Cat. Right, I just now I think I wait. I think I'll give it a bit more throttle. There we are. So you can see, look, the engine RPM and the actual RPM of the rotor is now increasing. So rotor RPM, the main rotor is at the top one, and the engine RPM is the middle one. Oh, it's doing helicopter things! I don't know if there's anything else I'm meant to be doing. Clutch light. Where's the clutch light? Well, it's definitely... it's Yeah, it's, it's speeding up, not slowing down. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Right, engine 2000 RPM now. Let me crank up the engine RPM then, so I'm going to increase the power. Oh! That's definitely... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's... Now we're sounding like a helicopter. Oh, look at this. Clutch light is hidden by the clutch guard. Can I... Ah, yes. But I can see the clutch light is extinguished, thank you. Right, engine RPM 2000. What does high mean? Oh, that sounds like too much. Oh, I think I need a bit of governor. Uh, after engine starts, plasma off, RPM drop. Right, let's do that then. So make sure there's no more... Let's disconnect the sun from the helicopter. Check if there's any RPM drop. Is that engine or... Or rotor? I'm not so sure. We'll, we'll check that. We'll leave it on. Uh, mag. Check the mags. No, no drop in RPM. This could be completely incorrect here. Uh, NR, is that the main rotor? 530 RPM. Well, 533. We'll take that. Check the carb heat. Hot. Carb heat doesn't change to cold. You can see the temperature of the carb decreasing. Okay. Throttle to idle. Check the lower bark light. <laughs> it's blinking. Right. Reducing power to idle. Where's the lower bark light? Oh, is this it? Ah, there we are. That's blinking. Right. We've got some low barkage. Check needles desynchronize. Yeah, look, so there's the engine RPM, then there's the main rotor RPM, look. That's really cool. Whoa. Be careful not to over, uh, over throttle it. I see, so, 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 so the engine is making. I see, I see, I see. Engine RPM, right. Now the, we're going to turn the governor on. And what the governor does, it controls the throttle automatically to ensure that the rotor is always spinning, I think. There we are. So the, is that governor on? Yes, look, look, see how it's slowly turning on its own? So that's going to deal with the throttle for us. NR in the green arc. Yes, before takeoff, all temperature check in the green. Pressure and temperature in green arc. So everything's in the green. Warning and caution lights are off. They are. Takeoff. Right, we're ready to get airborne, I think. I don't think I've forgotten anything seriously. Uh, or se anything seriously needed. So, talk a little bit about our routing today. Let me just. Uh, Cr uh, crank up Navigraph. Uh, we use the VFR charts. No flight plans filed. So here's Navigraph. Um, we're in Dubai. We're going to take off. Head sort of um, west towards the city. We'll look at all the landmarks. I'll try some helicopter manoeuvres. Uh, we're going to essentially head towards the Burj Arab, the Seven Star Hotel, land on the helipad, do some other stuff, check out the palm, and then go to the uh, skydive airport. Take about 30 minutes. Just a... Uh, a uh, little fun flight on our ignore. Uh, um, um, so we're looking for an ignore. <laughs> Inaugural helicopter flight. Right, you ready? Helicopters, uh, togas in chat. Um, <laughs> let me turn on Toby Eye Tracker. Look at this though, this is wicked. So, I'm going to slowly increase the collective and I'm going to use my feet to control the. Are we lifting off? Oh, we are slowly. Oh, we're airborne. I think we're airborne. Okay, a little bit of right... Ro okay, we're up, we're up. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to use my feet, look, to rotate the helicopter. And we're going to... Oh, we're going to head off in this direction. Now, I've got trim set up as well, so you can... If you listen... Can you hear that trim? You've got trim in the roll axis and the pitch axis. So I'm just using the collective to control my up and down. Uh, looking at chat's going to be a problem now with the Toby Eye Tracker, because... 
Look this way. But thank you, Kator, for the five dollars as we fly yeah. right over the main runways <laughs> to fly airport. Um, we're, we're, we're chopper in. Thank you. Are we flighting with launch pad McGuire? I what was that, Kato? Are we are we flighting with launch pad McQuack? Who's that? Unbelievable! Uh, it's happening. But look at me! I'm, I'm helicoptering. I'll trim it a little bit so I don't have to constantly push forward on the stick. There we are. And I'm just going to let go. There we are. Look, it's I'm choppering. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. Once it's in trim, it's quite nice. It sort of flies like a sort of like a fix. Fixed wing aircraft. Right, I'm just gonna. I need to get chat on my second monitor here because I cannot see what anyone is saying. Uh, I need to, there we go. Let me just get chat up open on another window. Pop out chat. There we are. So now I don't need to kind of crank my head round. I can actually see. Oh, I'm not looking where I'm going. There is the big terminal there. Uh, so let's get pitch up. There we are. Does Vatsim allow copters to Taylor out? I have absolutely no idea. I should think so, but you've got to obviously know what you're flying. Uh, meanwhile, the A380s are going around and said Spurious Bodge. Yes, they are. That's why I'm offline today. Right, I'm going to increase the cyclic. But what I found, if you put too much power on the cyclic, the RPM of the rotor drops off quite quickly, so you can't be too aggressive on the cyclic. And again, I'm re-trimming, so I'm making no input now. I'm just making very small inputs on the... Uh, uh, controls. Now I'm going to go up a little bit higher. Let's go up to 500 feet uh, and we'll head towards downtown Dubai. Towers, we tried to call you. They have a number for you to copy. Thanks, Simon C. <laughs> it's like balancing a ball on top of another one. Absolutely. Posca, 85 knot cruise. Okay, so I can add a little bit more on my cyclic. Is cyclic up and down? Right, I've added a bit more and I can re-trim forward. I just want to get up to 500 feet as well. Um, so yeah, I have had two hours of lessons. Oh, God, it was back in 2015. It was uh, for my birthday. I had a helicopter lesson, and I had another one. I paid for another one just because I've, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, and they were in an R22, and I, on the second one, I sort of um, uh, was was getting the hang of hovering, which is quite nice. But he said, obviously, your fixed wing experience is helping out a lot. But um, so yeah, collective, sorry, up and down is collective, cyclic is in front of you. So I've got the collective set up here, and obviously if I pitch down, the helicopter accelerates. If I pitch back, it, it doesn't. Uh, and then I use my feet to do the sideways, sideways motion. But I've got, I'm sort of just making subtle things. And am I right in thinking the governor is what controls the throttle now, and I don't have to worry about powering up and down? A character from DuckTales, never heard of that, Gator. But yeah, this is with the Toby Eye Tracker. This is one of the reasons I really wanted to try it. So this is the Orbix, Orbix, uh, uh, or Orbex um, Dubai City Pack. I think we better go towards the Burj Khalifa. Got to go fly as high as the uh, tallest building in the world. Um, oh yeah, I seem to be okay. Doing 75 knots, which I was advised is the cruise speed. I'm slowly climbing. Yeah, I think we should do some more flights like this. He's not flight deck to sim. He's flight deck to helicopter today. Absolutely zero point. <laughs> But not it's in trim. I think before I had, when I had to play around with it, I didn't have my trim set up. But now I've got it in trim. Up, you got you got left trim look, and right trim. So it's sort of it's affecting it. And then look, I'm pitching with the trim up and down as well. And this real helicopter does have trim. Look, if you look on the joystick, those there, that there is the the trim control. Although it's not uh, not modelled. Look at this. Ah, oh, this this Toby Eye Tracker is so good. There we are. Look, ooh, doing like my rate of climb or descent there. Anyway, are you climbing or cruising? I'm doing a bit of both MGS1. I, I'm trying to cruise and climb. Maybe I need a little bit more up on the, the cyclic. Can you land at... Uh, is that the... Yeah, we're going to land on that hotel. Is it called the Jumariah? The Burj Arab? We're going to land there. I've not tried it yet. I took a screenshot in slew mode prior to the uh, stream. and That's all I've done. What earth is that building there in front of me in Dubai? That sort of giant silver looking thing. We're going to go right down the main road here. Welcome. Thanks for subscribing, whoever that is. Uh, Amos, welcome aboard. Nav lights. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, there we are. All is well now. Land on it. What is it? I don't know what it is. Right, we're going to we're gonna go down the main road here. Right, I'll take a little bit off the cyclic. You can see the RPM dropping. Hello, Tyrrell. Good evening from Poland, uh, Chiquia, thank you very much for popping in. What on earth is this thing? 
I've been to Dubai, but I've never remember seeing this. Oh look, there's the um the tram. I've been on that tram. What on earth are we looking at? Great the Toby I I I think I should fly through that. Excuse me. <laughs> oh buildings. Right, I'm just going to uh, we're gonna we're gonna fly through. Yes, look at you, lot. Well, this is the sort of stream where we can fly through these sort of things, and it sort of goes a bit like a fixed-wing aircraft once you've once you're going around like this. I bet I hope it's not solid. Yeah, it looks like you can fly through that. I think everyone in there wants me to fly through it. I just hope I'm not going directly down towards the building. Yes, the, wh where is it? Oh my goodness me! Right, we're gonna go over this here. Right, and then we're gonna drop down. Yes, here we go. Oh, okay. oh, a bit more. Oh, steady, steady. Oh, that is definitely designed to be flown through. <laughs> Woo! Oh, something happened there. Buildings. Uh, excellent! First building flown through uh, today. <laughs> this is awesome! With the Toby Eye Tracker, it's so much fun. Uh, this is... This is good. Uh, so the collective... Collective, I'm adding a bit more power now. There we are. Let's now go down the main highway. Where's the uh, Burj Khalifa? There it is. I think we'll let's go forward then. Add a little bit more power on the cycling. What is the red string? Well, I remember seeing one of those on my glider when I was gliding to keep the aircraft sort of uh, balanced in yaw. And I guess it's something similar uh, in a helicopter. Um, but uh, look at this. This is this is wonderful. I would be concerned if you were driving down this road today and you were seeing this. Yes, they got the metro station but not the track. Yes, maybe it's my number of world objects need to be turned up in the sim. I don't have it on the highest setting. But yes, it looks like the tracks are missing. String is to fly straight. I think that's a pretty straight string. There you go, look, there's the Burj Khalifa. I think this is the perfect perfect place. Ah, uh, can you see in the distance, look, there is, is the Berger app. That's where we're going to land our helicopter. I told you this is going to be a short stream. <laughs> there we are. What other buildings have we got? Has it got a helipad? No, I don't think that had a helipad on it when I was slewing around looking for helipads. Zombie apocalypse. Cars are stranded on the road. You can see them all flying through. This, this Toby Eye Tracker and I'm not being paid to say this, it is just, I don't have any affiliation with them. It's just... Oh, very, very cool. You're flying down Sheikh Zayed Road. Thank you, Astrobras. You can land in the pool. Oh, and the, and the Burj Khalifa, where's it gone? Where has the Burj Khalifa gone? Is it behind these buildings? Or is it behind me? Now, oh, I, I can't remember. I'm going to have to stop. Yeah, I, I know, I did say I was going to be at 500 feet. Right, let's climb. So I've stopped going forward and using that power to now climb instead. Don't mind me. Oh, don't get too close to the building, though. <laughs> I've, lost, I've lost only the world's tallest building, you know. Where on earth is it? <laughs> what is it? Oh, there it is. I had uh, slightly flown past it. Let's uh, climb up to the... Uh, tallest building in the world. It's that tall one. Yeah, cheers, James. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with my helicoptering so far. How much fuel have we got left? Ah, oh, yes, 80 litres. Plenty. Airborne for 13 minutes. Right, up we go. I'm going to add a little bit more on the collective. Oh, look, you can hear it. Up we go. It's sort of when you get slower, you need to use a bit more of the anti-talk pedals. Oh look, I can see someone in the bath. Uh, up we go, up we go. God, I'm still climbing. How high are we? Fifteen hundred feet. Oh, uh, why are we? Oh, see, so when it gets to sort of flying slow, it gets a little bit more difficult to control. Doing sort of, we're sort of hovering now. I'm having to use my feet quite a lot to keep it in balance. Uh, so I've got a lot of right rudder in now. We're still going. How tall is it? Well, we'll find out how tall this building is. 
nearly 2,000 feet. I have been up it, not right to the top. Oh my days. If I was sober, I'd be even more impressed with that wonderful James. Like, 867 meters, what's that in feet? Look at you using all those helicopter words. Yes, collective, anti torque pedals, uh, cyclic, uh, uh, whirly bird. <laughs> God, oh my goodness me. What is that on the top of cannon? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nearly there. Throttle, yeah, fro the throttle's on the governor, Martin Keel. There we are. Right to the top, and we are at 2,650 feet. Superb. Is that what it looks like on top? I don't know. And where are you supposed to land? On top of that. <laughs> oh, don't fly into it. Ah! Right, there we are. I've, I've, I've seen enough of that. Right, so I'm going to lower the collective now and descend in a somewhat rapid manner. Uh, what's that part of Dubai called again with the the world uh, that sort of has the planet, doesn't it? There's lots of sand islands. I don't know. Right, I've lowered my collective and I will now trade some of my uh, potential energy for kinetic energy. Land in the pool. What pool? Down there. Oh, look at this. I don't think there's any water. Like, they're sort of, like, modelled in the sim, though. World Map Islands. Is it called that? I don't know. It's called the biggest flop of waste of money ever, said Elliot. No, I won't land in the pool, because I don't think it's modelled. I'm going to land on the on the hotel, as planned. Ooh, is that another heliport? But I've got a funny f helipad. But I've got a funny feeling that these are all, sort of, you can fly through these. I do see a helipad there, but I, I haven't tried it. I should think I'll go straight through it. Because all the other buildings I was playing around with, I went straight through. They're sort of, like, not solid. It's called the world. But I know where there is a solid helipad. We'll ignore this one, because I don't think it works. And we'll go to the uh, Burj Khalifa. No, the, uh, the, the, the Burj Arab. I, can, I don't know the name of anything in Dubai. Only one way to... I uh, know, I don't think it'll work. Oh, look, there's vehicles driving under the bridge. Impressive. Is it some sort of new maglev car? Whee! This is... <laughs> I'm enjoying myself, have you not noticed? Right, let's fly at 500 feet along the motorway. What on earth is that? Someone's left a giant Argos gazebo between those buildings. <laughs> Massive one. What on earth is that? <coughs> Other um, retail, uh, retailers are available. Um... Right, 500 feet. The Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm having a lot of fun. Right, down the motorway we go. Let's try and fly at 500 feet. My RPM is a steady 528. I've added some power onto the collective. 75 knots, I was advised, was the cruise speed. Let's maintain 500 feet. If the vehicles can go under it, I'm sure the helicopter will, Robbins. Don't tempt me. Right. Look at this. I'm doing a good job flying at 450 feet. Let's get to 500. There we go. And then we're going to attempt our first ever landing on a live stream in a helicopter. And this is... I'm not using any cheat modes. This is the, you know, Microsoft Flight Sim hard mode. All assistance is off. Certainly when I'm hovering, I'm having to make lots of little inputs and changes. In my little... Cabri G2 or whatever it's called. I'm loving it. I think next time we'll have to try a more challenging helicopter up the ante. There we are. Oh, it's 500 feet. Come on. Try and do a little bit of here on my height keeping. This should, Peter Green, this should be interesting. Ye of little faith. Right, there we are. 500 feet. And then we'll cut across to the uh, Virgin Arab. Maybe we'll find the pool where Hammond drove big AMG Mercedes in Top Gear. That was the one by the Burj Khalifa, wasn't it? Right, let's get it in trim. There we are, trimmed out. Turn on yoke cam. Uh, well, I, I, my yoke cam is Jack Cam today. If you want to catch him up on him, there you go. You got some paws there. Uh, I did try and think about it, but you really can't see much apart from me, and I don't want to show you me. But uh, I'm making. I've got my Airbus side stick, making lots of little inputs. 
uh, to keep the helicopter somewhat stable. But uh, let's see uh, how we uh, get on landing on this very famous hotel roof. Excellent. Uh, right, so as we get close, I think I need to slow down. And this is where that Red Bull um, uh, aircraft landed not too long ago. Was it last month or the month before? Broke a world record. Excellent. Uh, 0321 short the freeway EC 135 by road to X plane 12 is well worth a try. Now, yes, X plane, now I've got this set up here and know how to sort of fly it. Maybe I should try one in X plane as well. Right, coming up here. So, what's the height of the helipad, I wonder? <coughs> This is my first ever time landing on stream. I, my first landing was not on a small helipad like this. Right, here we go then. Sounds are really good, aren't they? Right, here we go. <coughs> so... Where's the wind from? But isn't it from the south today? Yeah, the wind said it was from the south. So maybe I need to position this way and land in a headwind. <coughs> there we are. There is the helipad. That is a solid helipad you can land on. I'm going to head this way and I just want to be facing sort of... Oh, where was the wind from? No, where? I don't even know where it's from. Oh, well, let's just go. We'll just land in this direction, so let's... Slow down and pinch up a little bit. Oh, goodness me. Toby Eye Tracker is making this a lot easier. Right, slow right down. Pick my head up a bit. Okay, here we go. So I'm doing about 10 knots. Let's just slow them a bit low. Oh, I'm having to use my feet a lot more now. I'm going slower. Like I'm constantly moving my feet. If I let go, the, my feet looking just goes in this direction. So I've got a lot of right, right uh, torque, uh, rudder pedal in. Uh, I hover and see where the red fruit goes. I can't hover. That's my problem. I just want to. Oh. Well, how do I see it clearly? Ah. <laughs> Steady. I'm making lots of little changes my feet here. Uh, uh. Oh, power, power, power. Oh. Okay, slowly down, slowly down. Slowly down, reduce the collective. Stop spinning, stop spinning, stop spinning. Oh, 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 oh guys! <laughs> okay, abandoning attempts. Alright, right. this is not easy and I've got everything off assistance wise and I <laughs> at least scrape my tail. My feet were really busy there right. Let's try it again. Oh my goodness look at the string. Uh, uh, right again. I can't go around forward now I have to go backwards though because there's a lot of metal It, it, I'm having to make so many little inputs. Come on, I want to butter this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> trying to stop it from moving it is uh. all right there we go <laughs> oh that's not bad not bad for my better my first ever helicopter landing no butter <laughs> plonk <laughs> look it's on one piece it's in one piece oh that's really satisfying though and i'm having to make so many little Inputs. Um, I have to say, I, 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 it's been years since I had my helicopter lessons, 
and the instructor said, right, come on, you fly a 7-3, let's get you hovering on the second lesson. And I, when I first did it, I was like, oh my goodness me. And then the second one, I, I landed it, but I had to, I remember, it was like, it was just like this. I was having to make lots of little inputs in the hover just to keep it there. And it was the feet, like, uh, the rotation and, and all those other things going on that I struggled with. Uh, right, so it's now, guys, just to conclude, we're going to go to this um, skydive airport, which becomes part of the Orbex scenery pack. So, uh, let's now... Uh, <laughs> cheers, Alfie, absolutely pl Whoa! Oh, dear, I forgot to move my feet before I moved up there. Right, let's now go to the uh, airport, conclude this little impromptu mini-stream. Whee! Uh, so much fun. Oh, we're gonna, I think we should do some more chopper fly, maybe a group fly or something. Uh, yes, thank, thanks, Alfie Douglas. Uh, absolutely planted it, well done. <laughs> Uh, uh. It's one of those streams, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, dear. Right, let's uh, continue to our next uh, destination, our final destination, which is uh, uh, up the up the coastline here. Again, we can see some more. Uh, oh, no, it's the palm, isn't it? This is the palm. It's a really nice, uh, nice uh, hotels around here, isn't it? You should put the Airwolf theme on your soundboard. Yes, another copyright strike. Uh, excellent. Um, look, you can see sort of a, a large Ferris wheel in the distance as well. Super smart. Um, oh, th yeah, I've really, I've really enjoyed this. But I sort of get, I, I understand how it's working. I sort of get the idea of how the helicopter's working. Uh, and like I said, this government, this governor is controlling the engine RPM for me, and I guess that sort of ensures that the rotor RPM stays at what is it, 530 uh, at all times. See, I found here if I whack up the collective, you can see. Look at the RPM drop off on the engine, and eventually you get this low RPM look. So you have to bring the collective back down. So it's like the engine. You can see the power increasing as it's trying to get the. Um, RPM back, but I guess it's trying to take so many, such a large chunk of air just slows the um, the rotor down. So you've got to be a bit careful with the collective. Dubai Marina ahead. Excellent. Cheers, Anthony. Thank you. Continue to support as a member. Glad you're doing uh, well. I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for your uh, support. Join the custom motion chat and uh, we'll catch up at Discord. Thank you very much. <laughs> Palm Jer Jeremiah, bolt hole for the lot of Russians. They're probably still, yeah, yeah, they're probably allowed there, aren't they? Um, uh, you ever thought about doing a channel to teach things like PPL modules or oh, Coda? I'm not the best probably to do PPL modules. It's been such a long time since I've even flown single engine pistons. So, yeah. Next time with failures on, yes, I don't want to do. Is it an auto rotation when the engine fails and you have to let the engine sort of dive down to build up the RPM and then you flare and land something like that? Yeah, also, don't get me doing that on my inaugural flight here, please. Right, there's the marina, or the, or the beginning of the palm, look. Very, very cool. And I think when I stayed in Dubai, I stayed in a hotel here. I can't remember what it was called. But went to the marina uh, to eat a few times. Through the building, which one? 50. Well, the one 40, over there. 30. Okay. 20. 10. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bit of time. Cheers, Misery Cat. Thanks for the five dollars. Appreciate it. I imagine you in a propeller beanie. <laughs> am I right? Please tell me I am right. <laughs> I am wearing the propeller beanie, red and yellow striped, with the spinny top on thing on top. You are correct, Misery Cat. Thank you very much. <laughs> donation. Brilliant. Right. Well, uh, yes. Okay. What's the hotel called? Is it Atlantis? The one on the end of the palm. Well, we're flying down it now. There we go. Nice to see all these buildings modelled in 3D. I think he's ready to fly an IMC now. Yeah, how do we do that? Do we an ILS all the way to the runway? I don't know. Uh, and if uh, viewers played the Airwolf uh, theme for themselves, it would be work well with this stream. I, I should think it will. Right, I, I, this is the target straight ahead. I hope it is not as solid as it looks. I should think it's the perfect size for a Capri... Uh, what are we in? A Capri wafer <laughs> G2? I don't know. Right, trim it a little. Look at all the uh, palms coming off here. Wonderful. Cheers, Robbie. This is 42 bumps. 
I've uh, flown the DCSF-16 through this building. I have confidence you can get the halo through it. <laughs> the halo through it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, look, the tramway has been built for this uh, tram here. Not in the other ones, though, which I think it's to do with my 3D modelling. Right. No problemo. This is definitely helicopter shaped. Big enough to get a helicopter through. Uh, a wee! Ooh, it's definitely a little change of the rotor draft there. Excellent. Superb with the eye tracker. Stop finding buildings, by the way, guys, that I can fly through. I, I know there's a building over there that <laughs> can definitely be flown through. Uh, Dave, what's the stall speed in this thing? Good one. Right. We'll head towards the coast to the uh, skydive place. We'll then land and do the uh, the check. Yes, I don't know why I said helicopter shaped. It wasn't very helicopter shaped. What I was trying to say is I could get a helicopter through there. Oh, Jack is grooming himself. There we are. Good boy. <laughs> Elliot, I've heard you go wee about six times in the kitchen while making a drink. Brilliant. <laughs> Oh dear. Sometimes when I'm flying with the guys, if they set quite a high rate of descent in level change and speed up, you get a little bit of, not nowhere near negative G uh, below zero, but you sort of, if you're a passenger, you'd feel a bit in your stomach. And every time they do that, I usually go, wee. <laughs> usually like, what? It's quite funny. Right. Where is this skydive airport? I think it's the other side of this ferry, if I remember from my screenshot taking antics prior to this stream. There? I know it's around here somewhere. Yes, I can see the runway for it here. And there are some helipads on it. And I don't know if this appears as default to Microsoft Flight Sim Scenery, but uh, yes, this is where you can skydive in Dubai from this little airstrip here. That building is asking for it. It is. It is. But no. Enough helicopter antics today. As I said, it's going to be a very short stream. I'll be wrapping it up now. Right. Here's the runway. I shall attempt an approach onto the helipad. I know they sort of fly down the runways on approaches, don't they? Right there. Where are the helipads? They're over here. Field truck is waiting for us. <coughs> and yeah, we'll, we'll have to do a group flight, guys. You'll have to join me in a, a Microsoft Flight Sim helicopter and we'll have to have some uh, group flight antics. Right, so now I'm going to put my anti talk to the right. Ooh. There we are. We'll now head towards the, the landing pad. Try not to hit the two fuel trucks. Oh, excuse me. Oh, there's there's some helipads. Right, let me get my Tommy eye tracker up here. Don't crash into the ocean. No, I'll try not to. It's, when you're close to the ground, it's very tricky. Have to make so making my, my feet are moving a lot more now. Oh, I might not be facing the right direction, but the, if I can get it on the edge, no fuel truck. What are you doing? Don't reverse towards me. Come on. Oh! <laughs> What's happened? What's happened? Well, okay. Uh, yeah, so there's a bit of noise on my cyclic. I had it all the way back to idle, and then the helicopter decided to take off again. Yeah, I need to get a new joystick. <laughs> it's got this, it's got a bit of noise in it, so when you hold it at idle, it sometimes shoots up again. Uh, that happened on my test sector. Uh, right, attempt number two. It was a touch and go, and okay. No, it didn't sound... I, I, I can't get it to not make that sound, even if I don't butter. Right, this this chap is going to marshal me in, I think. Let's, oh, look, he's, he's actually waving his arms. <laughs> he's telling me to go left. Well... Watch your head, son. Oh, he's actually he's actually guiding me onto the helipad. Right, right rudder, right rudder. I'm completely ignoring what he has to say. Watch it. Watch your head. Oh! <laughs> the 
this is not it right. Attempt number three. Third time lucky. Reminds me of that. Uh, reminds me of that dash eight. Uh, dash eight stream. Right. <clears throat> Everyone on the ship is watching. I have to say, it's not. It's not like GTA. You are having to. You can't just be. If you let go of it, you're having to keep use your feet a lot here to keep it all straight and level. Ignoring everything you're saying, man with buttons, lady with buttons, I can't tell. I want to get it on the H. Thank you, whoever that was, your membership. Landing. Alright, look, you see, that wasn't bad, and it still went clunk. Right, there we go, we're down. We are down. She, she, sorry, is very happy with my landing. Look, she's celebrating. Yeah, right, a little... Oh, I mean, for H accuracy, I think that's pretty good. I mean, only a little bit is off the edge of the H. Might have not been a butter, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Right, let me turn this thing off before I uh, cause any more damage. So, she's celebrating. We're down. It always goes clug. Oh, thank goodness for that paint. That's uh, reassuring. I, I should have put the replay on, shouldn't I, to have watched it. Right, I've never shut a helicopter down. Let's have a look here. Approach, landing, flare at 50 feet. Collective raised gently. We did a bit of that. Right, collective down. Turn off the governor. There we are, Governor off, NR between 4.20 and 4.50 RPM, so let's reduce the power of the throttle. There we are, so reducing the engine. So you can see, look, the engine RPM is is uh, falling below it. It's, it's great, it's great, isn't it? So 4.20 and 4.50, wait till cinder head temperature is below 180. It's cooling down now. How do I stop the RPM dropping off? Yeah, this is between 4.20 and 4.50. I guess this is just to cool everything down before you shut it down. Yeah, see, uh, I'll keep it between 4.20 and 4.50, but the throttle is very sensitive. Just get that cinder head temperature down. I'm trying my best to follow procedures. Right, reduce a bit more engine RPM. Right, cylinder head temperature nearly below 180. Chop the tops off her glow sticks. No, they're fine. Unbelievable. Right, cylinder head temperature is nearly dropped off. Just keep the RPM between 420 and 450. So, it must be to, to cool everything down there. Right, come on, where's that 180? There we are. 180, 420 to 450 RPM. There we go. Throttle now to idle. Clutch disengage. Check light. It's on. Mixture pull off. So this will shut the engine off. So the engine's now off. Uh, ignition switch and the what was it called? The the uh, p uh, pulse? I can't remember. Plasma. Ignition switches off. Uh, where were they? I can't remember. Where was the ignition switch? Yes, I've done that already. Uh, landing lights and alternator. Fuel pumps off. Uh, oh, they were already off. Fuel pump. Strobes. Master radio off and then the master. That's it. <laughs> it must be tiring. It must be. And there you go. You just let the air up. It's got a brake, so you can look. You can apply this. Would you ever apply the rotor brake though? I'm not so sure, but yeah, you can, it, 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 yeah. It's an awesome little helicopter. Great to, great to start on. Great to start on. But I wonder if you ever actually use the rotor brake, or do you just let it uh, spool down uh, on its own? Anyway, it's it's just uh, going on nicely. We didn't crash. We didn't crash. Excellent. I, I'm just very happy with how that went. Our first ever 
very off the stream, and it's an hour long. I was planning on it for being about an hour long. Um, and yeah, next time I'll make a bit more of a a flight from A to B in it. Mega, just really, really enjoyed it. Um, just before I sign off, then uh, let's have a look at some of the uh, witty comments in chat. Uh, who Chub said, where's the sense line tracking? Unbelievable comment. Uh, Daddy Rubal, you can break the rotors with your bare hands. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Steve M said, well, I'm pleased to say you passed. Sign here. Excellent. Rotary, my Microsoft Flight Sim Rotary uh, license is on its way. Um, she's trying to dance the YMCA, told you, but I think she's frozen. Uh, the person's trying to fake off as well. In fact, she's gone. Excellent. Uh, is he going to do a 180? Yes, okay. It took me three attempts to land, admittedly, but look. We got it down. I think I did reasonably well from what little helicopter knowledge I have. But uh, yeah, we'll have to do another flight. Um, yeah, heli group flight. I think we'll organise a little group flight in the helicopters. But yeah, I enjoyed this little impromptu stream on a uh, Monday night. Uh, something a little less serious than usual. But I hope you enjoyed it. I will occasionally do these odd little things from uh, zero planning. <laughs> but it did work. A little bit of planning was involved. But uh, uh, yes, yeah, so maybe I'll do something tomorrow as well. Phoenix 747, I've flown it recently and I want to fly it again. We'll have to see. Uh, but guys, thank you very much for tuning in on this impromptu stream. I hope you really enjoyed it. We'll do some more helicopter action in the future. I might try an X-Plane 12 as well. And um, to everyone that donated today, thank you very much for your generosity. To all the members, thank you very much for your continued support. We'll call it a day today and uh, I'll timestamp some fun bits from this stream so you can watch it back and look at some of the best bits. Look after yourselves and I'll see you on another live stream very soon. Good night for me. Helicopter, helicopter, helicopter.